Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, peep squad is in the building, baby. We go into the top. I'm going to bring others with us. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking, lacking. Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 was filming June 1st. And they're also filming today too as well at the Atlanta Woman Expo. I was like, oh shit, Portia was there. She was happy. She showed up and she showed out too as well looking good. And she reunited with Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore was there looking fabulous in her white dress. Portia looking fabulous too as well. Cynthia Bailey was there. Marlo Hampton was there too as well. So they were sitting there like, you know, they're going through this journey together. Cynthia is there basically as a new woman, not friends with NeNe Leakes too as well. So we have that situation. Then we have Kenya Moore and we have, you know, Portia that are freshly mothers, brand new mothers, and they're filming and they're working on the show. So they're starting a new journey together. So this should be interesting because this is, you know, Portia's first baby. And this is also Kenya Moore's first baby. And they both have to be out here working and getting that back. And Portia seemed to be happy. She was seeming like everything was all good and light of the rumors of Dennis McKinley, him out here cheating the text messages and the whole nine and bestiality allegedly shook booger sugar water candy, the white line, the white horse all that other shit Portia came out smiling happy ready to go and filming accepting awards and giving speeches I was like oh shit we know Marlo Hampton was there collecting information so she can go give it to you know who but it is what it is but Marlo seemed to be getting along well with all the ladies on the cast basically except for Eva and you know um Shamari, but other than that, she's getting along with the women, and we'll see the dynamics between, you know, Marlo Hampton and Kenya Moore, see how that situation goes down, how it works out, how Marlo plays that situation, because that should be interesting, too, and how Cynthia is going to be maneuvering her way around the business. Is she going to stand up and stand tall, or she's going to be under Kenya Moore and try to be, you know, her go-to girl or her yes girl for, you know, Kenya Moore? Let's see if Cynthia stand tall now that she's allegedly might be getting engaged to her new man so we'll see how that situation goes down but it's going to be crazy but i see that bravo is still filming even though they said that they was going to be putting filming on hold because of the new abortion law that was signed and it might be happening june 1st why it might be active and put into you know an office where it's against the law to actually have an abortion after a heartbeat is detected within six weeks or a heartbeat is detected. Whenever the fetus has a heartbeat and is detected, you cannot have an abortion in Atlanta, Georgia. Brian Kemp put that in. He signed the bill he, or whatever. He put it in there. And so now it's supposed to take effect, you know, um, January 2020. But Bravo, MSNBC, NBC, and Disney also said that they were not film in georgia if this law goes into effect so disney bravo and other networks want to make sure that this bill is contested by bill camp that it actually does not become law so we'll see how that situation goes down i don't know what they're gonna do with alabama alabama say you can't have no abortion period point blank and if you're a doctor performing abortions in a bit in alabama you're going to jail in bama for real for real so we'll see how all this works out but anyways they were filming so i guess they are hoping that the law is going to change or won't actually the abortion bill would not actually be put into law and, and it won't be against the law to have an abortion but we'll see what happens but i don't know if the networks are ready to lose any money like that are they really going to stand up and stand tall and say hey we against brian kemp and this bill that he's putting in to take away women's choice because sometimes it takes people a women a while to find out that they are pregnant sometimes women still have their menstruation when they are pregnant you know what i'm saying so we'll see what happens with the situation and georgia we'll see if bravo you know stand up stand tall or basically say you know what we can't lose the money we'll see what happens peace i'm out much love to all my peeps and my peoples please like the video